Hello, I'm Rips, and welcome to another Linux gaming video. We're playing Half-Life 2, Episode 1. I originally said I was going to play Half-Life 2, but I decided to skip past it. I'm pretty sure most people know Half-Life 2, or at least played it, or watched a Let's Play on it. But I think Episode 1 wasn't covered as much, and I think Episode 1 looks nicer. It's a better display of um, the Linux engine that's now in play, so let's go off and show it. Let's start a new game. Now I might go into backstory of what happened in Half-Life 2, maybe not. Some of it doesn't need explaining. This takes place right after the first well, Half-Life 2 ended. With you blowing up, well, the, with the Citadel about to blow up. Tell me, Dr. Freeman, if you can. You have destroyed so much. What is it exactly that you have created? Can you name even one thing? I really know how to push I buttons. Not. Hello, Vorgans. Mito. Boom. Hello, G Man. He doesn't look happy. We'll see about that. Hmm. I think they just stole me from the G-Man. That dog. Hi, dog. Yay. Who's a good dog? dog I think I found something. Yeah. Doing he me. found me. Oh my God, Gordon. I was so worried. <laughs> hey, the gravity gun. Give it to him, dog. Well, she's so bare spot. It's a robot dog. Ooh, toys. There, Gordon. Dog's happy to see you. Yes. I can tell. Oh, I'm happy because I have my new toy. I have my toy back. Up so we can check in with my dad. He must be worried sick about us. He was so sure I wouldn't find you here. The Citadel's really coming apart. Yeah, this place Still looks like it's seen back. better days. The last thing I remember is brain falling, huge explosion, and then. I heard Vortigaunts. Next thing I knew, Dog was digging me out of the rubble. Hmm. Oh, it, it's all so strange. Yeah, that does sound strange. Well, we should... It's my dad. Ah. We've been trying to reach him for hours. Wait till he hears that we found you. Come on. I'm coming. Dad. Dad. Are you Ooh, there? Health. Alex, come in. Hold on a sec. There's so much interference. Ooh. Hey, dog, it's not. That looked a little off. Oh, look at the. Okay. The HDR. To the right. There we go. Hold it there. Blooming. We got it. Dad. Alex, where are you? Please, God, tell me you're out of the city. Um. Well, not quite yet. What? But listen, Dad, we found him. You found Gordon? Somebody tells me he knows more about the G-Man and the Vorgons than he's letting on. There's no question that it will, I'm afraid. Our remote sensors indicate the process is accelerating toward a dark energy flare. That doesn't sound good. Left in the vicinity will be 
subjected to energetic events whose I effects are beyond it. my powers of speculation. The ravages to cellular material are Reiner, stop! <laughs> Dad? Oh dear, Eli, I'm sorry, but surely there's no need for undue alarm. Alex is well out of harm's way. Uh, well, actually, we're still at the Citadel. What? Oh dear, but there's really no time. The core is exceedingly close to collapse. Why, there's no way to get far enough without first... Well, nothing short of a direct intervention in the core could possibly retard well, the reaction. Let's do that. Going in? Into the core, yes. But it's far too dangerous to consider. The chamber will be bathed in radiation. Well, well you do have the hazard. Yeah, I am wearing a radiation suit, so... Citadel. It's possible we could... Alex, no! But Dad... Izzy, talk some sense into her! I'm sorry, Eli, but I don't see any other way. It would help us evacuate more citizens. We can do this, Dad. Okay, Alex. Uh, okay, okay, just promise me. Promise me that you won't take a single unnecessary risk. Um, I promise. I love you. I'm not sure she's capable of keeping you. that promise. I'll be praying for you. Don't worry. I'll see you soon. Hmm. Yep. Let's see if we can find a way into the citadel from somewhere along the rim. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Dog, a little help, please? Yeah, we need some muscle here. I don't have a physics gun, just a gravity gun. Thanks. Uh, those big hydraulics are good for something. Okay, and I'm kind of stuck. And meet us on the far side of this Maybe I can crawl. There we go. Whoa. What a drop. After you, Gordon. Yeah. Uh, if I mentioned before that I have a, a fear of heights. Because I have a fear of heights. And what are these? Oh, they're the little observer bots that follow you around. Um, it's a PC. Okay. I guess jump. Boom. Um. Let's see, what's my save button? There. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing that a lot. <laughs> and get out of the way, car. I think we're at a dead end. Why is dog taking so long? Dog! Dog! Maybe he found a bone? Look out! Oh my god, dog! Dog! Dog, are you alright? Oh my god. You scared the hell out of me. <laughs> now stay with us. And help us find a way over. Ah. Uh. Dog's one of my favorite characters. If you can call it a character. I cannot believe you're trying to get back in that place. <laughs> this isn't gonna be easy. Nah, uh, I suppose not. Um. Well, Doc, there's no bridge. What do you think? Any ideas? Uh. Yeah, yeah, I got gravity gun too. Um. All right, dog. It's not too helpful. I think he gets the right idea. There has to be a way to get across. But how? What about mm, mm, dog? Let's play let's dog, let's going? play um catch. Was it something I said? Um Oh, if I remember dog, um you, you got to hide here. I think dog needs a few bolts tightened. Um Look out. Whoa. Damn! Better aim there. Dog, really? That was a little close. It's gotten into you, huh? How exactly is this supposed to help us? What? Wait a minute. Oh no! <laughs> You're not serious. I think he's serious. I, I'm not even sure if a robot that doesn't talk can um lie or tell jokes. Well, Gordon, unless you have a better suggestion. He is a robot. He's done the math. 
No, <laughs> he didn't do the math. <laughs> okay, maybe he can joke, or he actually didn't do the math. Go find Dad. We'll catch up. Don't worry. All right, all right. I'll miss you too. Now, don't worry about me. I'll see you soon. Um. Get in the passenger side, Gordon. I guess so. We're going for a ride, I guess. Why does this not inspire confidence? Brace yourself, Gordon. Uh. Okay, dog. Let's do it. Uh, there's no brace key. What do I press the brace myself? Okay. Uh. Careful. Hold on. There's no hold key. Ah. I guess that works. Phew. Oh, good throw, dog. Now go. Well, he looks go happy. On. You'll be fine. Just uh -oh. Um we Shut won't down. be fine. Whoa. Hold on. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Ah. Whoa. Yes, yeah, I, I don't. I don't like this ride anymore. Whoa! I don't think that ride would have been comfortable. Guns out, so I guess it's time to start exploring. Do I have a flashlight? Yep. I don't think this is the way to go. Nice and smooth. Frame rate's pretty good. Whoa! 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 Okay, that 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 actually really scared me. That that startled me. I think like a nice dark corridors that are falling apart, where ultra dimensional tears in space are exploding. Yeah, yeah. This is just a, just really comfortable one. Calm and I had no idea. Let's see. Um oh, what a drop. Yeah, I don't think that's the way to go. I gotta find a way down to the core. <laughs> I wish we had a map. This looks like the place to go. Oh, she's following. If she follows you, that's a pretty good sign that you're going the right way. Um Oh, stalkers. They're creepy. Stalkers. Well, they shouldn't bother us if we leave them alone. They're creepy. I'll just disable this field. Damn, I can't get this down. Something. Oh, it's that stalker. He's holding it from the other side. We don't have time to look for another way around. Oh, how are we going to get through here? No, uh, these look promising. Hmm. Can you find where those roller mines are going? I've got an idea how to use one here. Now, if I recall correctly, now is a good time to save. Let's see. Uh Joy upon joys. Ow. Maybe that wasn't the right way to do it. Well, at least this is a good hit. Oh man, that's full. That's a healing and energy. Good. Uh. Now. Oh man, just the big red button and a bunch of crap. Uh, okay. And then we get to keep one. I guess we have to get back up there. Where's the? It's hard to see the floor. Okay. I get to get on this lift. Go 
going back. Uh, and here we go. Oh, you found yep. One. It didn't just like really hurt and stuff. That seems an awfully simplistic method of reprogramming something like this. Just juice the power. That's it. There it is. That's. It's a lot more unstable, but it should last long enough to take out the stalkers. Oh, oh, that's good. I guess just let it go now. Let it go. It'll do the rest. Okay. That looked like it hurt. Okay. We can get through now. And now it's gonna blow up. Let's go. Ooh. I took care of those stalkers pretty good. This is what I would have become in Half-Life 2 if uh, inter some intervention hadn't taken place. Let's see, where do I go? I can't go there. Where do I go? Oh, well, this way is probably a good bet. Um, 